Today, let's take a tour of one of our very favorite moderate resorts at Walt Disney World, Coronado Springs Resort. Coronado Springs is a moderate resort that's considered to be part of the Animal Kingdom area of Walt Disney World, but we always find it convenient and quick to get to almost everything on site. The theming celebrates a combination of Spanish, Mexican, and Southwest American cultures. There is a convention center located here, which can make it feel more adult than other resorts with all of the convention attendees and workspaces available throughout, but it also means more resort amenities that make it feel a bit more like a deluxe. The layout of Coronado Springs is interesting because there's the original part of the resort and then there's the new Grand Destino Tower that opened in July of 2019. It really feels almost like two different resorts. The tower is located on one end and then the rest of the resort is laid out around the 15 acre lake. The preferred rooms here are located in Casitas buildings one, two, and three, which puts those people close to the convention center and El Centro. If you prefer to be close to the tower or pool, you may consider booking another room category. You'll find the main pool, which is called the Dig Site near the cabana section. It is often considered the best pool at any of the moderate resorts. Outside of that, you'll find three quiet pools in each of the three sections of the resorts, ranchos, casitas, and cabanas. Near each of those quiet pools, you'll find 24 hour laundry facilities available to use during your trip. We normally start our tours of the resorts with the main building, but here there are kind of two main buildings. For arrival, check-in, and many kinds of transportation, you will be at Grand Destino Tower. And then there is the building that used to be the main building for everything, El Centro, where you will now mostly find some of the food and shopping options available. It's also right next to the convention center, so many of the convention attendees will use the workspaces throughout the building during their trips. Let's take a look at what the accommodations are like at Coronado Springs Resort. The standard layout rooms at this resort accommodate up to four people and include two queen beds, a desk space, and lots of storage. The bathroom area has a barn style door separating it from the main space. Many of the bathrooms at this resort are shower only, so be sure to request a room with a bathtub if you need it. The rooms in Grand Destino Tower have similar specs as the rest of the resort, but the rooms are 20% larger and have a more upscale feel. One thing to watch in the tower rooms is that all rooms from floors nine and up have room numbers that start with a nine, so be sure to check your floor number before heading up on the elevator. An option available to people staying in the tower is to book club level access. The Kronos Club is the only club lounge available in a moderate resort. There are great views from the lounge, the staff provides incredible service, and we like being able to snag bottled drinks, fruit, and other items before we head to the parks while finishing off the night with some snacks and a drink. Let's talk dining options at Coronado Springs, an area where this resort really shines as it has more choices than any other moderate and a great combination of quick service, table service, and lounge options to choose from. Let's begin with the table service options here. Starting at the top of Grand Destino Tower, you'll find Toledo, which is an upscale, gorgeous space that serves tapas, steak, and seafood. The views from there are fantastic. Then out on the water is Three Bridges Bar and Grill, a fun open air restaurant. You'll see on a map of the resort just how it gets its name. Mobile ordering is available here in the My Disney Experience app. Inside the El Centro building, you'll find a couple of options, including Rick's Sports Bar and Grill, which serves all your favorites, including burgers, nachos, and a wide selection of cocktails and beers. And just down the corridor from Rick's is the last table service option here, Maya Grill, which serves American and Mexican food. For quick service, you have the El Mercado de Coronado Food Court, which is located right next to Rick's in the El Centro building. It's a pretty good food court with several stations that serve burgers, pizza, sandwiches, salads, desserts, etc. Unlike most food courts at Walt Disney World Resorts, the hours here can be more limited, so be sure to check those in the My Disney Experience app during your trip. There is also Siestas Cantina, which is a poolside location at the dig site, serving both burgers and beers. Cafe Rick's, which is a coffee bar serving pastries, yogurts, as well as other snacks and smoothies. And finally, there's a few little spots to finish off the list that serve as kind of lounges or bars. Laguna Bar is a lakeside tequila and mezcal bar serving bar food like burgers, wings, and nachos. 
Barcelona Lounge, which is located at the very lowest level of Grand Casino Tower. They have coffee options morning to evening with breakfast food choices in the morning and appetizers and drinks available in the evening. And at the very top of Grand Casino Tower, right next to Toledo's restaurant is Dahlia Lounge with rooftop seating, delicious drinks, appetizers, and amazing views. Like all resorts, there is a recreation schedule letting you know the kinds of things you can do while staying at Coronado Springs Resort. There are usually lots of interesting choices here. Kids will love the Iguana Arcade and also the Playground, which is located near the dig site. Just behind Grand Casino Tower, there are large versions of games you can play together like checkers. There's also a fun run that takes place most Sundays, painting classes, Sangria University that's held at Three Bridges, fitness classes, etc. Check the recreation schedule for details on what's happening when. Disney transportation at Coronado Springs is gonna be completely by bus. There are four internal bus stops with Grand Destino being the last for pickup and drop off for all destinations, except for Disney Springs where it is the first. People with their own cars can self park for $20 a day and there are several spaces for charging electric vehicles as well. And now for our thoughts on this resort, a lot of things going for it, including the fact that it is beautiful with fantastic landscaping throughout. There are a lot of great on-site dining options. It has the best pool of all of the moderate resorts. The Grand Destino Tower feels more like a deluxe resort, but at a moderate price. And there is that club level option to people staying in the tower. On the cons, many people might feel that it has a more corporate feel. It has a few internal bus stops, so I can take a bit of time coming or going to your destination. Many of the rooms do not have a bathtub, so you'll wanna request that if it's important. And it has a max capacity of four in the standard layout rooms. The ideal person to stay here is adult groups or any travel group that would like to enjoy deluxe-like amenities at a moderate price. Welcome to the jungle. We got fun and games. I live in here now. Oh, where, where'd she go?